Shalom. First, I'd like to begin by giving all praises to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Makakodash. Double honors be unto the apostles of Great Millstone Road. Well, you know, um, peace and salutation to the men that push this word in sincerity and in truth. Right, and I want to do a video through the Spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai. You know, um, just basically on, on, on being in this truth. You know, and you know, just reflecting, you know, that this truth is something that you can't really take lightly. You know, it can't be. In fact, I will start with that, with that um, scripture. You can't take this truth lightly. Your wife was here, you know. So, like, you have one foot in the door. And, and, and um, one foot in the good, you know, because you know, he's have a, a, a brother recently, you know, he 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 actually, you know, he he was once part of this, and we know a few brothers, but the funny part about it is that it's just right before the Passover, you know, as the apostles and the elders always tell us, you know, during the Passover and after the Passover. You know, a lot of things that's be revealed, a lot of things, a lot of men does fall out. You know? So there's a... Um, there's Revelation 3 and, and 15, it says, I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou would cold or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. You know, because I look warm. You know, I myself had a walk on walk a little harder. You know, because imagine when I drink when I drink tea, whatever the case might be. And it in between hot and it in between cold, you know, it will spew out because it's not something desirable to drink. You know, it's either hot or either it cold. You know, it can be in between, and that, and that and that is the truth. It can be in the world and in the truth. You know, as the scripture say, um, Matthew chapter six and twenty-four says. Um, let's see. I read, I read Luke 16 and 13. It says, No servant can serve two masters, for either he will hate one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon, you know, and mammon is money, you know, or, or in, in other words, the world. You know, you can't serve the, 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 the Heavenly Father and also want to be a part of this world, you know, because all, all this thing we see in here in this world will not pass away, will not fade away in, 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 in the near future, in new season, you know, so you had to stop your, you had to stop your heaven, you had to stop your treasures. Or the gifts in the heavens, and how we go do that? We do these things by 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 abiding in this truth, in the knowledge that the Lord opened up to us, right? Because the Lord actually opened up that Pandora box to us, and He revealed, He revealed His secrets, He revealed His parables unto the apostles and unto us, right? So we, mine were lighted, you know, we was enlightened. You know, so once you've been enlightened, you're not the same. That is when you actually become an Israelite. That is when, because the Lord said he had separated us. You know? The Lord said he hallowed Israel. Right? Two thirds of the nation of Israel aren't Israelites. Right? Because they're not separated from this world. Right? But we who, who understand 
the mysteries of the Bible and the requirements of the Lord. We are we are actually we, we we come back to our heritage so we know. Right? We know. You see? Um yes you, you can serve this world and the heavenly father. So it goes on um Verse. It says, Because thou sayest, verse 17, I am rich and increase it with goods, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Right? And blind and naked. Right? Blind and naked. Because being naked is not having the understanding of, 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 of this truth. You know, wanting to be a part of this truth and, and then want to go back into the world to pursue whatever career you want to pursue. You know? Hey, when you come into this truth, you just get the basics. It's in six months, you just, you just understand. Hey, you're supposed to understand what this whole thing is about. You know, for gain, putting off the world. Right? Um... Philippians 3 and 14, it says, I press towards the mark. The fuck? 13, it says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended. To have um, apprehended, but this one thing I do forget those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before me. Right, so you're reaching towards the thing which is before you, which is the kingdom. Right, we have shy city, the, the, the kingdom is already prepared for us. It's just for we to work faith. You know, it's just for us to work faith. We had to work. You know, and, and working good and come easy. That, that, that kingdom ain't good and come easy. I this um second Corinthians four and, and, and eight it says seventeen it says for our light affliction which is but for a moment. The apostle Paul knew hey it, 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 it's just for a moment. It's not we're gonna go through this for the rest of our lives, we're gonna be afflicted here. Yeah. The girl right now we already know that. We know what we're about to do, what we're about to go through. And the Lord is gonna make his his, his um scriptures here. Yeah. I, I, I was once young and now I'm old. I never see the righteous forsaken or his seed begging bread. Right? The Lord ain't gonna lay his, his, his elect suffer. Right? Even in the time of affliction, the Lord ain't gonna turn it back on us. But we had to go through it. But you can't want the, you can't want the kingdom and also want this world that is being. Covetous. This is not your world. This, this, this is Esau's kingdom, right? The only person who gonna have it easy in this kingdom is Esau. And if you're trying to make yourself easy in this kingdom, you have to do a lot of you have to do a lot of disgraceful thing that you will always remember for the rest of your life, right? You will have to you will have to sex for money. Right? You gotta do all, a whole bunch of uh, nastiness. Cause that is the way our black man does does does, does make you money or, or become rich in this in this kingdom. Not just like that. Unless the Lord allow it. Right? Because like these rappers, you know, the amount of fires these these people have over their head. As soon as they talk shit. And the thing that they have enough money and they can do what they want. That is when everything must be released. 
and the whole life does be crumbling like R. Kelly. But anyway, it says, while we look not at the things um, for our light affliction, which is but for a moment, work it for us as work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal way of glory. Yeah, far more exceeding and eternal glory. Right? Because the affliction we go through now is is is, is glory we will have later on. Right? It says while we look not at the things which are seen, but the things which are not seen. For the things which are seen are temporal, but the things which are not seen is eternal, right? So the things where you can see, and that is what faith go back to. Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Right? So if you do have faith, you wouldn't believe in the heavenly kingdom. You wouldn't believe in the kingdom of the come and you wouldn't believe in how shy, you how bash and shy. Right? Because you will, you will only believe in something that you could see. Something that you could touch. Right? Yeah, and the script at the back up here, it says, um, Romans. Ah, these three I will read. It says, um, 2 Corinthians 5 and 7, it says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. Right? So that is a clear understanding that faith is not sight. Right? Having faith is not things that you can see. But having faith is things that you heard about, that you read about, that you have never seen before. But the Lord promised that it will happen. Romans 8.24, it says, For we are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. For what a man saith, why do it? Why do he yet hope for? But if we hope for that we see not, then do we with patience wait for it. And I that what the Lord will say, is yeah, the faith and the patience are the same. So it's the saints, which is the elect, we don't have uh, that hope and hold fast. Right? That is what they're going to hold fast. You know, so the, hey, brothers, sincere brothers in this truth, you know, pray. You know, pray. Pray without ceasing according to the scriptures. Um, Second Thessalonians, chapter 5, I think it's 24. You know, pray without ceasing. I think it's First Thessalonians, if I'm not mistaken, you know. Um, pray without ceasing. Pray. You know, pray ask the Lord for the Spirit to endure. You know, because you're seeing men who pretend to be faithful, who pretend to be done with the Lord. And and that was it. Offenses came and they fell out. Um, scripture is there. Chapter 12 and, and um, 16 it says, And he speak a proverb unto them, saying, the ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful, and he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do, because I have no room? Where to bestow my fruits? And he said, This is this will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater, and there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years, Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said unto him, Thou fool, this night 
thy soul shall be required of thee. When then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that laid up treasures for himself and is not rich towards God. Right? Can study the things that is will. Right? Because the Haub is the one who provides everything for you. Right? He provides everything for you. Provision on the right and the provision on the left. Just for just to make it clear. Right? So if you want to go back into the world, you know the Lord will provide the, necess the necessities because you already know back in this world will go on. You know, so I don't want to drag the video, you know, um, I want to give all praises and all glory to Yahweh. Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Kodash, the Lord is the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessing to the men that push this world in sincerity and in truth. In sincerity and in truth. You know, shalom.